Now, if you're prone to kidney stones or you have high oxalates in your urine, which makes a person more prone to kidney stones, there's a couple things that you can do. But first, let's talk about the symptoms of a kidney stone. Number one, low back pain. Number two, flank pain, which is pain in the back, just below the rib cage on either side, indicating which kidney has a stone, usually. Uh, there could be blood in the urine. There could be frequent urination. There can also be painful urination. Those are all symptoms. Now, why would someone have more oxalates in the urine? And by the way, your body makes oxalates and they also come from the food. And they kind of help you regulate excessive amounts of calcium. In fact, that's one of the functions of oxalates in plants. Because if there's too much calcium in the plant, they can kill the plant. So that's why the plant develops oxalates to help regulate the excess amount of calcium. Now, normally you're supposed to have a certain amount of oxalates, not too much, okay? But if you do, what are the causes? Uh, you could have a genetic problem, which by the way, that can be dealt with. I'm gonna talk about what to do. If there's weakness within your kidney, you can have a problem with building up more oxalates in the kidney. Number three, if you had a bypass surgery, that can cause you to have more oxalates. If you have some type of an intestinal problem, that can cause you to have uh, more oxalates. If your diet is composed of foods that are high in oxalates, that can give you more oxalates like spinach, black tea, almonds, chocolate, soda and cola. Hopefully you're not doing that. Soybeans, soy milk, spinach, I already mentioned that. Sweet potato, black tea, or tofu all have higher amounts of oxalates. If you have higher oxalates or you're prone to kidney stones, there are four things that you must do that will greatly help you. Number one, you wanna start taking calcium. The type of calcium I'm gonna recommend is calcium lactate. Take about 250 milligrams before bed. What will that do? That's gonna combine with the oxalates in your intestine and allow them to go through the body so they're not reabsorbed and end up in the kidney, okay? Number two, you wanna start taking citrates you can do it through lemon juice, like a half a cup a day, or you can take potassium citrate because the citrate will prevent the calcium from binding with the oxalates. Number three, drink 2.5 liters of fluid per day. It's about 10 and a half cups of liquid. Kidney stones occur when you have a super saturation of calcium and oxalates. So if you drink in the fluid, you'll never have that concentration. And number four, reduce foods high in oxalates. And I just mentioned the foods that you need to avoid. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.